North Dakota has plenty of schools that people are proud of, but there's one that stands apart from the rest because it could be the key to saving a dying language and culture. Kristen Clausen is here to tell us about it. Kristen? Alan, the Lakota Language Nest is a school designed to create a new generation of Lakota speakers. It has only accepted eight children, and the standards for staying in the program are rigid. Parents have to sign a contract promising to bring their kids every day. Adults are required to take Lakota lessons themselves and speak it at home. They also have to pay tuition, volunteer in the classroom, and attend parent meetings. But they say it's worth it. At first glance, the Lakota Language Nest looks like any other preschool, but no other school sounds like this. They're the only Lakota Language Nest um, currently in existence. So it's one of a kind. Um, it's an opportunity that doesn't exist anywhere else currently. Everyone who comes into the classroom has to speak Lakota. Grown-ups can use cheat sheets. The three and four year olds have been absorbing the language since September and often interchange Lakota and English. What are those? What are those? We don't really, we, we don't like to pick them. We're just always encouraging and like go over the top with encouragement when they do say something in Lakota. So we just use that constant positive reinforcement. Right there. There was a time Lakota children were shamed and often punished for speaking their native tongue at school. There was federal government policy prohibiting it, so there was, you know, there was kind of a traumatizing era where it was just totally forbidden. And I always say that it's not historical trauma because the people that that happened to are still living, and they're living with that, with that process still, you know, that those experiences they carry with them every day. Tom Redbird is one of those people. It's been my first language. Lakota was my first language when I went to first started school. I didn't know uh, any English, and there was no uh, like head start or kindergarten, so I just went right into first grade, and I had a hard time for a couple of years. The children call him grandpa, and they call their other teacher auntie. In my part, I I do all the um, the Lakota, the talking, and TP uh, does the teaching a bit. So uh, that's how they, uh, they uh, learn, and uh, we make a great team. These children are too young to know the significance of the school or how they'll change the future. They just know school is a fun, safe place where they get to see their grandpa and auntie every day. Now, when I visited the school, I assumed the students were all from 48s, but there are children who come in from Bismarck, Mandan, and Little Eagle, South Dakota every day. And they aren't the only ones working to save the language. Tomorrow, I'll take you inside an intense language school with more than 100 people from around the world attending.